You made it back alive. Only because of you. I'm running out of ways to say thanks. Do the rest of the Republic prisoners make it back? Every last one of them. Our medics are looking them over. Some of them were in pretty bad shape. Incoming call, Commander. Looks like it's your Imperial friend. Good to see you alive and well, Supreme Commander. With you back at the helm, Darth Arho's becoming desperate. He's ordering his ships to land on Ilum's surface, to be equipped with prototype versions of the stealth technology. The battlefield's not secure. Landing ships here gives us a chance to take out his entire fleet. Only if you know where to find them. Arho knows someone in the Empire is working against him. He's keeping the location of the landing site secret. That is all I can tell you. I won't contact you again. Arho grows suspicious. Figures. As soon as there's any risk to himself, our ally leaves us out in the cold. He's a servant of the dark side. Self-preservation will always be his first priority. There's only a few spots on Ilum where a ship larger than a shuttle could even attempt to touch down. We just have to take out those landing strips. If we can disable the ships already on the ground, nobody else will be able to land. Do you know what the temperature is out there? I got frostbite on my... Somewhere you really don't want to get frostbite. I know this has been hard, but Karawar and Jiandar are already leading troops against key Imperial installations. I can't afford to send anyone else. I'll give you the location of the landing strips. Use these ion grenades against the ships already on the ground. You're just in time. We're discussing our final attack plans. The Imperial troops have fallen back inside the Jedi Temple. Darth Arho refuses to surrender. He knows it could take weeks before we break the Imperial defenses and reclaim the Temple. Fortunately, there is another way in. An underground escape tunnel built centuries ago. We need you to infiltrate the Temple through the escape tunnel while we engage the Imperials outside. What about our man on the inside? Is he going to help? No recent contact. Malgus seems to have disappeared. But at least we know his followers aren't supporting our home. I know the Temple well. If you clear the way, I can lead a team of Jedi to capture key strategic locations, like the Armory. Without Master Bowden's Jedi, our troops will suffer greater casualties. But it might be worth it to get your hands on the Armory equipment. I won't sacrifice lives just so I can get my hands on some Imperial weapons. Then we'll engage Darth Arho's Sith followers while the rest of the troops take on the Imperial soldiers. What about air support, Commander? The Sullustan pilots are itching for a chance to avenge Yet Jub. I share their pain, but the Temple houses many irreplaceable artifacts that are unlikely to survive a series of airstrikes. It's your call. Your mission to infiltrate the Temple will be a lot harder without air support. If it makes my life easier, then I say bombs away. Radburn, get those Sullustans in the air! I'll be that, Supreme Commander. Here is the location of the escape tunnel into the Jedi Temple. Go there now. I'll send you updates on the progress of the battle. Good luck. I should have known they'd send a thief to sneak into this temple. You may have won the battle for Ilum, but the war is far from over. Even if you defeat the Empire a thousand times, we will always rise again. I think you're overestimating the Empire. After losing 100 times in a row, I bet you'll call it quits. 200 tops. You have mocked me for the last time! Your death will be an inspiration to all who serve the Empire. Victory is ours. All Imperials on Ilum have surrendered. But success was costly. The names of all who gave their lives on Ilum will never be forgotten. Many soldiers were lost, and many artifacts in the temple were destroyed during the Sullustan bombing runs. Kalam Jemrani Naya. Nimkiri. Uh -huh.